Most businesses are still chasing client info over emails, connecting messy Google Forms to Google Sheets, or worse, sending over PDFs that never actually get filled in. And sure, automation tools like Zapier will help automate this process, but these tools tend to become expensive and almost always something in your flow will break and need to be fixed. Now that's where a form building tool will come into play. However, here's the thing. Your intake form is more than just a form. It's the initial experience for your client. So you need a form builder that is able to create beautiful, personal and professional forms and also kick off the process automatically. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get set up and automated using industry leading portals, apps and integrations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a smart form that not only looks great, but also kicks off the process automatically. It also connects to your CRM or sales tracker. So new leads don't just land in your inbox, they get logged, tagged and followed up properly. Let's not waste any time and jump straight into the form builder we are using to automate our intake form, and that is Fillout, which is a modern form builder that is as simple as Google Forms to set up, but offers so much more power. Now, I've created a really simple client intake form here. We've got a cover page. We've got a page for personal or contact details, a page for a bit more about the business and what they need, and just a final page there. I've kept it super simple for the sake of this video because it's not what is on the front end that is important. What we want to look at is what we can achieve on the back end. So you'd send off this form to your client, they'd begin, they'd complete it, and then the results would be stored here. Now, I've just created this form, so we don't currently have any results. We will take a look at how this form appears on the front end soon, but let's dive into how we can set this up for success. So we've got the simple editor where we're able to include questions. Now, I'll just quickly show you that we have a whole variety of fields to choose from other than just email, text, long text, we can include multiple choice, sliders, rating, opinion scales, and much more. And again, that free account is incredibly generous, so don't miss out on signing up today. But continuing on, we'll jump into integrate because we want to see how we can store our submissions, not only in Fillout itself, but within our favorite trackers. Now, perhaps you are running your CRM through Airtable or SmartSuite or even Monday.com. Maybe you're running email campaign through MailChimp. You can directly and natively connect your form to these apps. Now, perhaps you're still running things on Google Sheets. You can connect that also. The process to connect your apps is incredibly simple. You'll just select the app you want to connect. You'll want to authorize that connection, and then you can begin mapping your fields from your form responses over to your tracker. So here I've connected my SmartSuite account to my fill out form, and all I need to do is begin mapping over the form responses from this form directly over to the fields or the properties in my SmartSuite tracker. Account name, which will be company name, email address, and so on and so forth. Not only can you easily connect your fill out to other tools, creating new records or updating existing ones, you can also set up conditional logic on those native integrations to determine when a record should be created or when a record should be updated. We're already starting to see the value of fill out as not only a form builder, but also as its own automation tool. Not only can you set up integrations with your favorite tools, but you also have access to conditional logic within your integrations for no added cost. That is incredible value. So a super simple setup there, you can connect your form directly to your CRM or your sales tracker and add new records or update pre-existing records directly through fill out. But we want to see what else we can do. This is what I want to show you. Automated workflows directly in your form builder. So if we select workflows, we'll notice that we've got some templates, thank you emails, emails after delays, approvals or rejections, assigned tasks, scheduling, and so on. We're going to take a look at the approvals. Now this is something that is also offered in other automation tools like Zapier, Make, and it's something that we refer to as human in the loop. Bringing in a human team member to approve a submission, an automated step, whatever that might be. Now, if we have our client intake form submitted, Perhaps we want to bring in AI to summarize or send a response directly to that client without taking up the time of one of our team members. That's where approval will come in. So if we select to add a new step after the form is submitted and we'll select the AI action, I'm just quickly going to change this to generate text and the text to generate will be, hmm, let's go with respond to the submission 
with a personal and helpful message. So we can select that, add it to the step, and then rather than just freely having AI complete an action, then going ahead, we can bring someone in to actually approve that step. Then we can see here that if it's approved, we're sending an email. And if it's rejected, well, we don't still want to send that email. Instead, what we could do is notify someone within our team via Slack and say, hey, we need you to come in and actually get back to this client for us. Again, all you would need to do is just connect your Slack account, verify that connection, and then select which channel you actually want to send this message to. You can also bring in the responses from your form submission so that your team member has something to reference. Now you can use the generic response emails that Fillout sends to yourself and to the submitter if they give you an email, but I would always rely on the automated workflows where you can create a much more personal and custom message for your new client. So we've taken a quick look at how you can connect your client intake form to your CRM or your sales tracker. We looked at how we can send responses to the client or the submitter and even bring AI in to assist you. Let's look at what else we can achieve with this powerful tool. Now for our last feature to look at within integrations, we're going to generate a PDF. What we could do directly within Fillout is create a PDF from the form responses to act as the contract. When the person completes the intake form, well, the automation generates the PDF and then the automation sends the PDF over to the client to sign. So we've uploaded our dummy client services agreement and we saw there that Fillout actually recognized that we had two fills to pre-fill. If we jump onto the second page, I imagine, yep, straight away here, we've got the service provider signature and the client signature. Now with Fillout, there is actually a signature field supported. So rather than sending over a generic PDF document for your client to sign, you could actually make this an interactive and personal experience by sending a form that prompts them to provide the signature and then automatically places and populates the contract with the signature, which creates a bit more of a personal and professional experience for your client. But if we scroll up to the top of our particular client services agreement and we select to add a field, this allows us to bring in our form responses and we can actually select which field is connected, which dynamically populates the values from those form responses. So for instance, we might need to include the address, the phone number, the person and email address of the contact of the company. Well, we can have a contract, a PDF that is dynamically populated and generate it after each individual submission. And then we can actually bring in this document to our automated workflows. Now beyond the cool things that we can generate and have kick off automatically, once the form is submitted, there's a lot of cool things and features that we have available while the submitter is completing the intake form. Firstly, let's discuss conditional logic. If we jump into logic in the bottom right, we actually get a visual representation of what our form path or journey looks like. We know we've got the cover, the personal page, a bit more about the business and that final page. We can actually include pages and in particular questions that are only shown to the respondent depending on their previous answers. Let's say for example, we've already predetermined our account manager for this client. So they're prompted to answer the question, if Bill or if Ben is their account manager. If we jump into logic, we can actually change the flow and the journey of that particular client. Let me delete these paths or these connections. And we know on page one, we've got that question. And let's say for instance, we only wanna take them to page two if their account manager is Ben, but they wanna to go to page three directly if their account manager is Bill. So we'll set the condition for page three to be Bill only do we go to that page if who is your account manager is equal to Bill. They'll take that if it's equal to Ben, and then we can connect them directly back to the ending. One of the most powerful features, and to be quite honest, one of the most powerful features not being used by businesses in forms is conditional logic. It means your form can adapt based on how someone uses it. This doesn't just create a better experience, it allows you to collect better data. Now also included within Logic is fill out calculations. This allows you to manipulate and format your data and compute both prices and scores depending on how your submitter responds to questions. Say for instance, you want a lead score survey. Well, you'd create a calculation, name it lead scoring, select the type of value you want to push out and create the calculation. 
Then you can use rules depending on how the submitter responds to a particular question to determine a value that is attributed to the final score. Now you might think that that would be all the features we should mention, but there are plenty more. One of the most important features that I want to mention is URL parameters and pre-filling your form. You've got a client and you're going to send them over this client intake form. You already know who this person is, the company they work for, their email address and other details. So why are you going to trouble them to fill in these things? Instead, we can use the URL parameters by jumping into settings and add parameters where we can pre-fill the data from the existing data that we already have, like their name, for instance, or their email. If we already have their data for their name, their email, their company existing within our Airtable CRM or our Smart Suite Tracker or our monday.com sales pipeline, well, we can use that data to create a unique URL that pre-fills these questions on behalf of our submitter. Now, we'll send over to our client this intake form. We'll select the name question. We'll just open those field settings and we've got the default value here. This is where we can pre-fill or pre-populate the data we already have, that URL parameter that we just created. So if we select the add icon there, we notice that we've got the questions, but more importantly, we've got our URL parameters. I created the URL parameter. I created the URL parameter for name. We would pull that in and same for email address. We can then have those fields hidden so that the client doesn't even see them. Now they're not worried about a long form where they have to fill out all these details again, just after they had a meeting with your team and your team knows who they are. And the great thing about fill out as a form builder is that it's super easy and we have multiple options to share the form. We can see here we've got that form link and you'll notice that we've got those URL parameters here, the name. So we will just replace this with the client name. It would pre-populate that field, same with the email. But we can also embed this form as a pop-up, a full screen, a slider. We can create a template for this and then share this with the rest of our team. We can bring our team into our fill out account and then from there configure the permissions based on their role within the team. We can also share directly to our socials or send this as an email directly to that client. We can also have a flow set up that once the client intake form has been sent, we send over our onboarding forms and include file uploads to get the details we need from our client. There's so much you can do with Fillout, so do not hesitate to jump in the description of this video and sign up today completely free. If you need help automating your business processes, then do not hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com, where our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.